Can we not act like life isn't hard for everybody right now? Can we not act like most people aren't out here struggling? One paycheck or a few dollars from being homeless and out on the streets panhandling. We all need grace right now. I'm really careful when I speak about certain topics because I don't want any conversations to be like a trauma dumping session. We're in some really crazy times right now. <laughs> 24 hours is just not enough. I feel like the average person right now is working at extreme levels. You have to work two, three, four, five, ten times as hard in 2024. And it's probably going to be like this for another couple of years. All these judgments about what people should be doing, how they should be living their life. We're all in the same boat. Most of us are working our ass off and still not having much to show for it and we all just need grace right now and I feel like you don't have to act like it's okay it is really crazy out here it's okay to not be okay I've had to sit with this for myself because I really don't like a lot of what is happening right now. Now, don't get me wrong. I am very grateful, but I saw this TikTok recently and she said she was talking to her therapist. She was talking about gratitude and her therapist told her, you don't have to be grateful for something that you don't like. And I re really resonated with that. It's like you're accepting that and you're only bringing more of that into your life. So I have to be real to say I don't like that I don't have consistent income coming in right now. I don't like that all of my money seems to be going to bills. I don't like the fact that I'm literally dollars away from being homeless. One wrong move. I could be homeless and I feel like a lot of people relate to this right now. And then on the other hand, you have people that judge people for these situations, like put ourselves in this situation and like not working our ass off. No matter if you're working a nine to five or you have a business, most people are working for pennies. That money is just withering away because the price of food, the cost of utilities, the cost of rent, mortgage, whatever you're paying, everything is inflated right now and the prices seem to be getting higher. But like I said, I don't like for that energy to just stay there. I'm not going to sit here and talk to you about my problems all day long. I'm going to get to a solution. I wanted to create space for anybody who is struggling right now. For those of us who do not like the way that our lives is going right now, to say I don't like it, but to do something about it. And this is the alchemist at play. I feel like any situation that is given to me, I am going to make the best of that situation. But it starts first with acknowledging I do not like this and something needs to be done about it. If you don't know, I am Keisha Andrea, a multi-passionate solopreneur, brand photographer turned brand and content strategist. And I use this space to show solo, multi, and creative entrepreneurs how to build wealth with their gifts, but also be seen, felt, heard, and paid online by their people without sacrificing your well-being. If you're really serious about your well-being, you can't be around here acting like everything is okay and suppressing all of this energy. You have to start with, first of all, acknowledging that you just don't like where you are. Second of all, having grace for yourself and having grace for those around you not being so quick to be judgmental of yourself and others. And then lastly saying, I'm going to do something about this. I'm not going to keep complaining about it. I'm going to cry. I'm going to get it out my system. And then I'm going to do something about it. And what you do to make your situation better is going to look different for everybody. For me personally, I am in a position right now to where... I am making my income more consistent and more predictable. I don't like 
<laughs> making my rent in one week and then the next week, zero dollars. I don't like that. So what you'll see over the next coming weeks, if you have a business or you're looking to start a business, you may want to tune in over the next couple of weeks. I'll show the inside of my business and the systems and a lot of the things that I'm doing in my business to create stable and consistent income. And if you're interested in that, you might want to check down below in the description. I'll leave the recession proof challenge down there help you with the basics on diversifying your offer so you're not just offering services you're not just doing e-commerce stuff things that take a lot of your time so you can create digital products and not just any digital products looking at your skills some of your hidden talents that you probably don't even know that is there and turning that into digital products products that people actually need. Remember what the elders used to say, if you don't have nothing nice to say, then don't say it at all. We don't need your bullying about our lifestyles. What you need to do is go talk to the people who put us here and let us come together and find a way to move past all of this together. I know that sounds all kumbaya-ish, but it's really the truth. It's a lot of bullying that happens and a lot of classism that happens be and people hide behind the fact that we can't really see what's going on behind closed doors. And if you're even really living the life that you say that you live, a lot of people are quick to judge and say, broke this, broke that. You need to go get a job. You need to quit that job. It's okay to offer an opinion, but to bully somebody into something and be so judgmental about it when you could be in the same situation as this them tomorrow, humble yourself, have grace, or maybe even just be quiet and mind your business if you can't offer some solutions and some help. I want to hear from you if you're going through some situation as well, something that maybe you need a lot of energy put towards it so you can manifest something better in your life. Don't You don't have to put out too much of your information, but but I'm offering this space for you to speak on it and get some collective energy to help you to get into a better position. So hopefully this video did resonate and reach whoever it needed to reach. As always, I appreciate you all for tuning in. I am Keisha Andrea. I'll talk to y'all later and see y'all on the feed. Happy creating.